those that have doubts. Listen carefully to this particular hadith. Some of the companions of the Messenger ﷺ came to him and they said to the Prophet ﷺ with deep stress, they said, O Messenger of Allah, sometimes we have these thoughts, we hate having these thoughts, we would never dare to speak of them and we just want them to go away. So it's not like we like having these thoughts, it's not that we're entertaining these thoughts, but we're having these thoughts and we can't get them out of our head. We don't speak of them and we wish that they would go away. The Prophet ﷺ said, are you really facing that? They said, Ya Rasulullah, that's what we're facing. You know what he said? He said, ذَاكَ صَرِيحُ iman He said, that is clear faith. Meaning what? Alhamdulillah, that you do, that you deal with it the way that you deal with it, know that Allah will reward you for doing what you are doing. Meaning the way that you feel, the guilt that you feel for even having that waswasa, for he, even having that doubt, is actually a sign of Iman in and of itself. Because shaitan is always going to whisper. But the fact that you're not allowing that whisper to turn itself into action is a sign of sarihul iman, a sign of clear and pristine faith. In another hadith from Mu'adh, they came, uh, some people came to the Prophet ﷺ and they said, Ya Rasulullah, we have these thoughts, we would rather die than act upon them. We hate thinking about these things. Why do we keep thinking like, why, why do these thoughts creep in, these doubts creep in? And the Prophet ﷺ said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah alladhi radda kaydahu ila waswasa He said, all praise is due to Allah who reduced the shaitan's plan to whispers. All he has is whispers. And Imam Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah, he said that when shaitan gives up on igwa'ihi, on leading you astray, then all he's reduced to is a bunch of whispers. And as long as you let it stay there and you don't allow it to penetrate your actions, don't think Allah is going to punish you for your thoughts. The Prophet ﷺ said, أَعْذَرَ اللَّهُ لِأُمَّتِي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven my ummah for that which they say to themselves مَا حَدَّثَتْ بِهِ أَنفُسَ That which they say to themselves مَا لَمْ تَقُولْ أَوْ تَعْمَلْ بِهِ So long as you don't speak of it or act in accordance with it. Having thoughts is okay. Don't kill yourself because you're having whispers. Ubay ibn Ka'ab radiallahu anhu said that I had whispers at one time. Umar ibn Khattab was said, the Prophet said to him, Afi shakkin anti ibn Khattab, are you in doubt, O ibn Khattab? This is normal and everyone would go through it. It's about how you deal with it. And the Prophet said, Shaytan would even take your positive moments and try to spoil them. So you're looking around you and you're admiring the creation of Allah. And shaitan would say, who created this? And you would say, Allah. And who created this? And you would say, Allah. And then shaitan would say, who created Allah? So the Prophet ﷺ said, at that moment, ista'ith billah, seek refuge in Allah from the shaitan. He said in another hadith, when thoughts come to you, when the shaitan tries to penetrate your thoughts, when he tries to lead you astray, at that moment, قُلْ آمَنْتُ billah, I believe in Allah, you will send the shaitan running. All you have to do when you have those thoughts is say, Amantu Billah. That is Sarihul Iman. That is clear and pristine faith. Allah will not punish you for the thoughts that you have. In fact, Allah will reward you for the way that you dealt with those thoughts. And that in and of itself is a sign of Iman. So remember to say, Amantu Billah. I believe in Allah. When the shaitan tries to penetrate your thoughts and do not feel bad because shaitan is trying to lead you astray because he's given up hope in uh, your actual being led astray and he's been reduced to that sense of whispers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to remain strong in our faith and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove the shaitan from our thoughts and our actions, our deeds and may Allah keep our iman strong and pristine as the Prophet mentioned. Allahumma ameen. See you next time inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.